Hey guys, Cryptic Grifter here. Uh, just about to start my second season in the career mode. Just to let you know, the first season I actually did, the settings I had it on was just standard Tor Pro with a two time multiplier. I am going to keep it on that, but what I have done, if I go into the career mode here, you will see that I have changed the Tor settings. I had the AI set at hard, I've actually changed that to very hard. So you'll see if I go to career info and tour settings, I've now changed it to very hard. Rounds per event, I've left that at two rounds. I do ramp that up to um, four rounds for the majors. Um, so let's crack on with the first event of our second season. So WGC HSBC Championships at Shishan Golf and Country Club You'll also notice from previous videos that I've done online and offline that I don't tend to use pins, um, even though I do get pins in the pin packs for things like power, accuracy, putting, recovery. I don't tend to use them at all, so um, that's why you'll, you'll never see any pins on there. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the opening round coverage of the World Golf Championships, HSBC Champions. It's part of the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Shishan International Golf Club in Shanghai, China. Established in 2004 and designed by Nelson and Hayworth Design. Wow, there's some decent scores on there. 13 under par, I think I saw somebody on there. This is going to be tough. All right. Pushed it a bit at the end. Let's see if... Oh, just managed to hold the fairway. Well, that's shortened this one considerably. Good tee shot. 190 yards left. Into the wind and uphill. 204 yards. Okay, taking a swipe of the four iron here. Push that one as well. I will say I haven't played this course before, so this is going to be a totally new experience for me. A nice shot on that one. Having never played this course before, I think I'd be happy with a part. Yep. Par on the first hole, always a good start. We have a little bit of continued rain in the forecast, but shouldn't affect the golfers too much. Par five. Okay. Let's hope this wind helps us. a better swing. That's alright, held the fairway. It died pretty much when it hit the fairway with the rain on the moment. That's one thing you'll notice if you haven't played this before. Um, if it's wet, don't get much roll at all. It pretty much dies where you where you leave it. So. It's going to be long. Well, on the green, but uh, some 25 feet away, so outside chance. Okay. Anybody that's been watching my country club videos, um, you'll know that I'm part of Scales' army. We very often play online. One thing that's been letting me down massively of late is my putting, so... I wouldn't expect this to go in. This stroke is for Eagle. And uh, yep, yeah, you're quite right. That's another one missed. Wow. Let's hope we can clean up with a birdie's par five anyway. From so that distance just to get it close. That's a birdie. Now in red figures at one under par. 
an ever-shifting leaderboard. Here's a look. Wow, tied 114th at one under. 11 under just to get into third. This is going to be tough on very hard for the AI now. Oh, well. Wouldn't be interesting if it was easy, so... Let's see, the other people that play in the country club, there are guys that play on amateur that have, like, hundreds and hundreds of eagles and birdies and just, uh, I used to do that when I played the game about three or four years ago, but um, I've stopped doing that now because I just didn't find it interesting at all. 60 degree sand wedge shot from here. Great shot, puts it next to the hole about five feet out. Here's the hard part with a putt like this, Jim. You've got to make missing or making equally acceptable. That way, you create an environment. It's in the back box. to back birdies. Nice start to the first three holes. Got to keep it going, though, otherwise, I'm going to get absolutely pasted with these guys on very hard. What about this tournament? Exactly how do they line up? Here's a quick look now at the standings. Everybody there is finished, so nobody's going to get anything better than that from that bunch anyway. No, that should be pretty good. Gives himself a little bit short. Chance for birdie from 18 away. Nice. That's a great roll from there. You don't three in a row. From that distance. I must admit, it's not a tough course at first impressions, but um, I think the wind, uh, the wind and the um, the slowness of the greens because of the rain is definitely. Beautiful, lovely straight lines in that swing. Solid Just par five. Nice Let's have a look. Fairway. And the flag par four. is a slightly. Looks good. Die now. Die. That's it. That was a golf shot right there. Unbelievable. And the sort of putt here, Jim, that, uh, well... I'm going to try and record every single round in my second season. So, for those that want to track my here. progress... Nobody's liking and subscribing. There's no point in me doing the video. So, if you do want to um, show some interest and subscribe to my channel... Um, for future videos then do that you know I don't know how many of the guys are still playing online in the country club but I'm sure we'll have some uh, some more online videos as well so keep tuned too short that the wind green, was about more from right to, to left hole. than I thought it was. Didn't think it was going to be that much. Get in. Another birdie, and now minus five, five in a row. In Doesn't happen very often. And I've got to play like this in order to stay up with those guys. God knows what expert level would be like. I must say, I didn't win every tournament in my first seat plain sailing even on hard difficulty so I'm expecting a nice challenge this time round and I don't you know I, I, I don't want to win every tournament because I but, um, shot right it will be good to get some um, get some really good results just to keep myself in the, the hunt for the FedEx Cup On the green here, and looking at a very good birdie opportunity. You should at least scare the hole from this. You probably notice, though, even though it's level, the aim are a little bit forward, 
and that's just to give yourself For the birdie. a little bit of extra roll in case you come up short. Doesn't matter if you go in a little bit fast, but you don't want to do the criminal thing of leaving your putt short. So always push your marker a little bit further forward, even if it is level on the on the green. Nice par five, great stuff. So whether we can take that dog leg on there. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's there, and let's hope the wind does its job. You'll notice I do use the wind an awful lot in this game. I have set my trajectory too high to get the maximum effect out of the wind. It does. But um, in most cases, these nine are manageable, so I don't really have too much of a problem with these. Here's a look at our top players for the tournament after seven holes. Four, uh, four feet up, nine miles an hour. It's not going to wedge. Get down. Oh, it's way too long. Thing is, with this wet, you get no spin whatsoever. So, wow, this is massively downhill. This is just a question of getting it close to the hole. Big turn at the end. Left it short. Criminal start. A great effort to get in the hole for par and stay six under. Here's the vital information about hole number nine. On to the ninth halfway round. Yeah, I don't expect these videos to be incredibly long. They're probably going to be about 25 minutes long each one. So you'll notice that I do press. Oh no, it's going to be too long. Oh, oh dear. This is going to be interesting. Wow. I'm going to have to go big time sideways here. Yeah, as I was saying, you'll probably notice I do speed the flight of the ball up because otherwise it just takes ages. So um, I do speed the flight of the ball up by pressing the Y button. That's Otherwise the videos will take ages. So I'm sure nobody wants to watch the ball in flight like that. So you'll notice that the ball speeds up and slows down accordingly. I just like to make sure that it's online, that it's going to be vaguely in the right position, and then I'll speed it up. This is a tough putt. Four inches uphill. That's hardly breaking at all. Now for par. Is he going to drop one here? Yes. Oh, I've dropped a shot. Damn it. No, you don't want to miss these. Right on about four feet. He needs this for both. So you see, it's not all plain sailing. There are lapses in concentration and there are bogeys <laughs> so don't expect to see birdies and eagles or pars all the time there are bogeys and there are very often double bogeys as well so you will see a pretty much a bit of everything with uh, with my gameplay Took it a bit easier on that drive. Had a bit of underswing. Was nine miles into uh, into the wind. Nine mile an hour wind. So it was um, tough shot. Going with the iron here. Underestimated that wind before. So let's hope this is better. See now that crosswind did nothing in comparison to the last one. Distance was right, but I expected the, uh, that to be further left than it was. This is the kind of distance that catches me out all the time. See? This is what separates the good ones from the great ones. Takes the two putt for par and will hold steady. Minus, minus five. five. Still miles now, off the leaders. The 82. 
want to at least be in the top 50 before we get to round two. This is going to be tough. Good smooth backswing. That's a disadvantage of it being wet. You get no roll at all, so you don't get any extra distance off your drives. On 46. It is a bit. Let's see what we this does. That looks long. Damn. I keep leaving myself these long 20 foot putts. Okay, this is hardly moving. Three inches down. To go a further shot under par. Come on. Makes up for the bogey on the last hole. I think going into hole number 12, I think it's got to be. First page of the leaderboard, that's going to be my target, I think. Get up. Short. On long, one short. Can't get my distances right. That's the disadvantage of playing into the wind. So it's really tough to judge. Crosswinds are easier to judge, I mean, especially when they're left to right or right to left. But uh, ones into face, really tough to judge. A real opportunity here to get one back. Nice. Nice. Another birdie. Seven under for the tournament. For those of you that have been playing the game, you'll notice that a lot of the statistics in this game are wrong. Um, not accurate at all. You know, the tournament statistics, the country club statistics, some of them just don't make sense. I mean, in the country club at the moment, it's showing me with four double eagles. I've never hit a double eagle. So if you see that in the statistics when they come up, I can guarantee you I've never got a double eagle. So that will do. This for birdie. <sighs> Thought I'd miss that one. To get to eight under par for the tournament. I think what I'm going to do is play this season at this tour pro level with the AI on very hard, and then next season. What I might do is rank the difficulty up to tournament, maybe drop the um, the AI difficulty back down to hard because I'm going to compensate with um, putting my difficulty up to tournament level. But uh, let's see how this one goes first. R5, 222, win behind. It's going to be hard to stick this green. Get down. Bite! Nice. That one is tight. About five feet away. All right. We are getting into first page of the leaderboard territory here now. Let's get this eagle. In the hole for an eagle. Four holes to play, three shots behind the leader. The leaderboard getting a little more interesting by the moment. Some big names up there as well. Phil's up there, Rory McIlroy, Luke Donald. I must admit, I haven't seen Tiger much in this game. I'm quite surprised, to be honest with you. There's the shot, you see, that would have lengthened my career considerably. Get down. Bite. 
Oh, that wind took that. Put it close, and he'll be looking at a 15-foot birdie putt. It's that terrible distance that I hate. 15 feet. And that's another one that goes by. 15 to 20 feet. Terrible. I cannot do them. Anything under 10 feet, I'm okay. Anything over 20 feet, I almost don't expect to get them in, just to get them up close. If it's for birdie, get them up close for a par, and I'm normally quite happy with that. Wow, par four, reachable in one. Nice. That wind's behind. Let's go for this. Ah, uh, bite, bite. Ah, oh, didn't make the green. He put it right in the fairway. Good thing I clapped down. That would have been shockingly long if I hadn't a clapped down. That's pin high, that is. Mm. Everybody in the country club will say that this is my forte, but I haven't been... Getting many in of late, and that just justifies my comment. Oh dear. Greens and regulation. Well, let's see if that little white ball will fit in that little dark hole this in the ground. Is that dreaded ten footer again? No. Three putt par. Shocking stuff. After it's all said and done. He's still yeah, even the commentator sounds disappointed. Right. Par three. What a nice hole. Look at that. Playing the seven iron. That's going to be short. Oh, that wind is so strong. When it's into your face, it's terrible. Let's see if this is better than the last one. Oh! Hit the flat stick, but just still too fierce. I'll take a part. How many have we got left? One hole left, three shots behind the leader. All right. Let's go back. So I need a birdie to get onto the first page. Oh, I'm on the first, not on the first page, really. Only there because it's showing my score. Let's get up with the guys on three under. Ah, oh, it's into the wind. Damn it. This is where the high trajectory really hurts you. Look at that, 260. He put the ball right in the fairway. 56 degree wedge. They're having a laugh, aren't they? They probably think nobody's going to be that crazy to go for the green. I'm probably going to regret this. Or should I? No, what do you get for going safe? Wow, that's a lot of water to cover. Nice. I had to hold my breath there. <laughs> for those, oh, for those thinking, where's he gone? I was holding my breath. I really, really wasn't sure that was going to go in. Nice. Twelve under. Only one back. One back from the leader. Let's have a look at the leaderboard.
Nice shot round of 60. Tie with Bo Van Pelt in second place. One behind the leader. I will take that. That's one round in the books. And we'll see you back here tomorrow on EA Sports. And we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you for round two shortly.